Hi, I'm Kristen with Case Co Arts, and today we will be doing another fall painting using this 11 by 16 canvas. I'm not doing a triptych today, but if you would like to see the video that I just recently did of a triptych, I will link the video right here. We will be using the same tool that we use inside of that video, which is, of course, our donut cutter. So we're going to use this tool. We're going to be working with it to see how many things we can do using this with our fall colors. So before I start this video, I would like for you guys to hit that like button. Also, make sure that you're subscribed so that you can be notified every time I upload a video by making sure that you click that notification bell. So I would like for you guys to join me as we're about to do another fall acrylic pouring video. So the colors that we have picked out for today, we're doing something different. I want to use darker colors that are seen in the fall, which are going to be dioxazine purple. We're going to incorporate a little bit of this unbleached titanium white. We have prism violet right here. I'm sorry. We have, um, <laughs> we have, um, I think it's. Um, deep violet and then or I'm sorry I believe this is deep violet and then we have prism violet right here we're also going to come in with our orange colors that we use inside of our video and you know that I have to add in my metallic colors I have my 24 karat gold I'm gonna incorporate a little bit of the reds that we use as well and this um, cadmium uh, red light hue um, this mixture of reds, all the colors that we used in yesterday's video, except for we're going to try to do something different and incorporate the background being darker and then the middle um, portion that we're going to be filling our donut cutter with as the lighter colors. So let me go ahead and get started. So I am going to, as I stated, I'm going to see if I can get as much out as possible with this unbleached titanium white to try to do a bit of a split base um, and I am going to go ahead and blow this out then I'm gonna fill in my purples up here so here we go have our unbleached titanium white on here which in the beginning now I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my sides and then I am going to fill in my top color which of course as I stated is gonna be this variety of purples so let's see how this turns out I am going to do <laughs> um, uh oh I have a bit of a glob in there <laughs> We don't want that in our painting. Let's see if we can get that out. Just very, very, let's see. Since we're filling the canvas with that anyway, and I will wipe it there. Okay, hopefully we don't have, let's see. No, I just have some clumps in there. Okay, so I have dioxazine purple on here. Then I have my prism violet which is right here and then I'm going to come in with our deep violet and we're going to see how this top portion turns out so here we go And we have our split base colors 
I love this. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I should have just went ahead and did it. Um, did this the full color. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side over here so that I can know what colors to use for next time because these are some really beautiful colors. I'm gonna go ahead and take my blowtorch to start. I'm gonna go ahead and pop any bubbles that are on here. I did fill this up a little bit more with some butane gas. I'm gonna go ahead and pop any bubbles that I see at the bottom. And I do see a little bit of a clump right there, so I got that out. And now we're gonna take our donut cutter, which is right here. And I am going to take a little bit of this paint off that we had from yesterday. And I am going to lay this directly on the canvas. Remember I said I was gonna try this in the middle, so that's what I'm going to do. As soon as I get a little bit more of this paint off. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Should we start on the end? I believe I'm gonna start in the middle again because because I like the way that that turned out. So I'm gonna place that directly on here and now we're gonna go in with our lighter colors. So we have a variety of orange colors. So I'm gonna put it right here. I'm also gonna go ahead and fill in these little sections. We're gonna see how this turns out. We're gonna keep playing with this. So that is the coral orange. This is cadmium orange right here. I'm gonna make sure I add some in the middle. I'm gonna move my colors to the side so I can know which ones I've used. I'm gonna go ahead and add in some of this Venetian pink. Yep, I added some in the middle. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna take some of this cadmium red light hue. I can only add a little bit because I am running out, <clears throat> but I really love this color. We're gonna see how that turns out. Then I'm gonna go in with my reds, which only add a little bit too. <laughs> okay. And then this color red next. This one has a little bit more in there, so. Then go in with my other orange right here. I believe I put some in the middle because I use red last. Okay, then I'm go in with this red. Then we have our rose gold. This is such a pretty color that I mix together to get rose gold. And then of course, last but not least, we have our 24 karat gold. Okay, so we have all parts of this filled in. Um, <laughs> the paint is not going everywhere like it did in yesterday's video, which is a surprise, but I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and we're going to see exactly how this turns out. So here we go. <laughs> and it has a big bubble right there, which I'm going to pop. And then I'm going to pop the surrounding bubbles. And this is how it looks so far. I'm gonna zoom you guys in to see this part right here. And just like we did yesterday, I'm going to take my blow dryer. We're gonna blow this out and see how this turns out on this split base using the purples up here. I'm bleached titanium white down here in a variety of colors in here. Hopefully this turns out as beautiful as I think it's going to turn out. Uh, <laughs> so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so this is a little different. 
I mean, I want to blow this out just a little bit more right here. Okay, so we have a bit of a flower design in the middle. I love all of these colors together. It's amazing how all of these colors, they are, they're really, really beautiful together. So you are able to see several different patches of the cells and lacing in there. I wish I could have gotten a little bit more purple to come through. Um, I am soon. Soon I'm going to get some canvas stands. I won't, will no longer have to use my cups to be able to um, shift the painting around because you see when it's like this, you have to automatically like move the cups and then a possibility of messing up the painting. So I am going to quickly try to not too quickly. Try to move the cups where they belong so that the parts that I actually want to blow out, I can actually blow out. So I'm gonna take this cup right here. Okay, and that's the only uh, cup right now that I have to move and hopefully my hair does not get into this paint <laughs> if it hasn't already. Okay, so let's see. I am going to, there was a portion I want to blow out a little bit more with my mouth. Um, And see, when you blow out with your mouth, you're able to get a softer design in the painting. So, I am also going to blow this out just a little bit. I love these colors together. They are absolutely gorgeous. All of these colors um, as a combination together look really, really beautiful. So for right now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead, take my blowtorch, see if I can get anything else to pop up before I take you guys in for the close-up. I know this is gonna be extremely, extremely shimmery. Um, I do want to, because it just came to my mind, I wanna try to pull See, that's, <laughs> that's like where a lot of the lacing is and I don't want to mess that up. But I would like to pull some of that purple in. Just a little bit of that purple purple colors to be pulled in a little bit more and then I may drag some of this unbleached titanium white in That's extremely pretty. Just having some of that purple being pulled in to the design. And I love being able to 
has some swirls in there. I think it brings the whole painting together. But for right now, I'm going to leave it alone, you guys. I'm going to go in one more time, pop my bubbles since I played around with it. And then I'm going to take you guys in for the close-up. So here we go. Come on. And here is the final results of our acrylic pour painting using those fall colors again. Uh, 24 karat gold, all the different reds, orange. We also did kind of like a split base and added unbleached titanium white down here at the bottom. We also used Venetian pink, dioxazine purple, deep violet, and prism, prism violet in this painting. And I believe that it turned out absolutely gorgeous right here. Absolutely beautiful colors working together. Here's a spot right here that is absolutely gorgeous. Of course, it's all gorgeous, but you have certain parts of the painting that you're going to love a lot more. And this reminds me actually of leaves or one big pretty leaf. So I would like to thank you guys for joining me today as we have just created another acrylic pour painting using a kind of split base, different colors at the top and then unbleached titanium white at the bottom. And then again today, we were able to use our cookie cutter, which is right here again in this painting. Um, I don't think that I'm done using this yet. I'm gonna keep on exploring to see how many paintings I can get using this cookie cutter right here. As I always say before I sign out, you guys, right now it is very important, especially for those living in Florida and the surrounding areas that are going to be getting some tropical storms coming in from Hurricane Ian. So please, 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 number one, stay safe. Number two, stay blessed. And last but not least, no matter what it is in life that you are personally facing, turn your pain into paintings. Thank you guys so much and I hope you guys enjoyed this video.